Okay, so I have another tip for you, and it was one that took me a long time to buy in on, and that was getting enough sleep. So I used to pride myself on, on four to five hours of sleep. Um, sleep was for the week. I remember um, uh, colleagues and business owners I worked with saying, you know, sleep, you have all your life to sleep. Well, following that advice, I became horribly stressed because I was so tired. I would overeat because I was tired and my brain needed energy. Um, I gained weight um, because I didn't have energy to exercise because I wasn't sleeping. So um, during this time, it was a great opportunity for you to establish really healthy sleeping habits. Um, even if you're busy working, um, really establishing that sleep sleep pattern is is really important so the body needs to do a lot of work while we sleep and if we don't sleep enough we don't give it its time to do that and um, so the things the body does at night is it detoxifies uh, so it gets rid of um, cells that need to be um, sloughed off it also rebuilds and regenerates cells and um, it helps also uh, to create a strong immune system um, so the other um, thing about sleep is it's really important to not be digesting food while you're sleeping so a good way to help you sleep better is to not eat about, you know, I try not to eat about three hours beforehand. Sometimes I don't do that. The nights that I've eaten too soon to going to bed, I usually don't sleep very well. Uh, so we need to give the body the opportunity to not be digesting because digesting takes a ton of energy and the body will do that first before it does all of its cleansing, detoxifying, um, sloughing off of old cells and rebuilding new cells. So, um, so trying to not do your midnight snack. Also, um, drinking alcohol can make it really hard to sleep. You may fall asleep immediately, but a lot of times you wake up in the middle of the night, heart racing, and the body's trying to process the alcohol. So it does not really help, help with sleep. Um, so uh, see if you can start a sleep ritual. And... Um, a good way to do that is do a brain dump before bed. Write down things that are troubling you. If you have um, a hard time staying asleep and wake up at the night in the middle of the night, worried or concerned, or have an amazing idea that you don't want to forget, be sure to have a pad of paper next to the bed that you can write that down on, so that your mind can relax and know that you're not going to forget all this important stuff that it has going on in its in, inside your mind. Um, the other thing is, um, and there's many ways, go ahead and look up online um, sleep ritual ideas. There's a ton of ideas, but uh, one thing that helps me a lot is a special this, um, breathing technique, and I call it 478 breathing. And what it is, is that you're going to breathe in through your nose um, gently for a count of four into the lower area of your diaphragm, not upper breathing, but down here in your belly, you're going to fill that area with, with a, a nice breath, a nice calm breath, count of four, and then you hold for seven, and then you breathe out for eight, and it's uh, when you're doing the breath out, it's going to be a nice gentle, like that, so nice gentle in for four, you hold for seven, and then when you breathe out, seven. I mean eight, sorry. Hold for seven, out for eight. You can actually do this any time during the day, and especially if you're feeling distressed and stressed, um, anxiety-ridden. Um, it really can help calm calm your body. Um, it's um, uh, Dr. Weil is who I learned this from, and he states just doing that in the morning three times when you wake up, three times in the day, and three times before bed, your health will will <clears throat> benefit greatly. So I really recommend that four, seven, eight breathing and getting a good night's sleep. Talk to you soon.